Man, is this thing even working? Hello, hello, break, break, bro, break, break, we're ready to check. Hello, come in, Mr. Truck Driver. Hello. Oh, oh, hey everyone. <laughs> My name is Brad and I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima and welcome to another installment of Redneck Ham Radio. Today is CB Radio. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know that it has been a minute, has it not? Yes, it has. Well, uh, today's episode is going to be a uh, geared uh, more toward my CB radio friends or, or people just interested in getting into radio and just don't have a ton of money. You know, they might, might not can afford a, a, a big $1,000 HF rig, but they've got a Cobra 19 in the in the closet or, you know, uh, if somebody give them a, an OCB radio and they say, well, I need an antenna. Well, I'm fixing to show you. Really, all you need, something for a mast. I'm going to use some, uh, uh, yeah, I know it's rusty, but uh, I'm going to use, uh, this is a, a, a Cyclone fence, ABC fence, uh, top rail. Uh, so you can buy this stuff at Lowe's. It's not really expensive, or you can just, most of us have some of this laying around somewhere or have access to it anyway. So there's, a, there's my mast. Uh, I don't have a lot of money for a big old antenna, but what I do have is somebody give me a 102 inch stainless steel whip. Now this is the, the catch meow as far as uh, CB radio antennas for mobile applications. But, uh, and you may have put one of these up in the air before, you know, and say, well, I just can't get the SWR to come down. Uh, the SWR is real high and uh, I'm fixing to show you how to remedy that. So I uh, need a 102 inch whip. Like this, I say a uh, mirror mount, same one we used in the previous video when we put the uh, the antenna on the fence post. Well, we're gonna use it again for this video too. So mirror mount, wire, a screw clamp. Get these at Harbor Freight box of them for seven bucks. You know, on the cheap, and some coax. All right. So uh, let me get everything set up here and uh, get the camera in the right position. And I'll show you how to make this happen, Captain. All right, guys, I am back. So uh, let's get, go ahead and get started putting this thing together. So take a mirror mount and you don't need the, the back of the bracket. All you need is just the mount itself. And uh, put your nut and bolt through your bottom hole right there. And it's easier if you put that on there before, because once you put this thing on the pipe, you can't hardly get your... Uh, you can't get your bolt through. So uh, this is the way I've done mine. You can put it the other way if you want, but this is the way I've done mine. So I'm gonna take, put this thing on here. I've got this screw clamp and I, so you take that screw clamp, you just screw that thing right on there. And you can tell that uh, I have a, I have already formed this one because uh, I had to practice with this before I started to make the video there. But anyhow, so there you go. Got that on there. And, uh, and I'm gonna pick up my, my wires down here. Oh, we're gonna put uh, ground radials on this thing. And, uh, and I cut these wires exactly 10 foot each. I cut four of them. And, uh, put a fork terminals on so I cut them 10 foot each and then the very end the last 12 inches I took six inches of it and I rolled it back on itself that give me a little something to uh, uh to tie to there so you'll just take and uh, way I done it I put two radials on one side two radials on the on this side so uh, I'll be right back because that's kind of bored and monotonous watching me do that and I will put this thing up in the air and uh and then I'll show you what it takes to get the SWR down with a 102 inch stainless steel whip in the air. All right, hey y'all, I'm back. Let's see if you can see it very well there. That is a 102 inches of stainless steel up in the air right there. See the, uh, there's the mirror mount bracket. Beautiful day today, isn't it? So the uh, the remedy to uh, to get this thing to work right, uh, I remember as a kid when I was first getting in the uh, into uh, in the radio. Of course, CB radio is what I got into. 
so i wanted an antenna i wanted a base radio so bad so uh somebody hit had given me a 102 inch whip and i put that thing up and uh and i couldn't talk nowhere and uh somebody let me borrow an swr meter that's where i first learned how to use that and the swr was way above a three and i just couldn't understand what it was uh, reason that thing uh swr wouldn't wouldn't come down it worked great on my vehicle why wouldn't it work up in there well uh, it all has to do with its ground reference and its plane of ground so uh so when you put those uh ground radials on that thing i uh, put four of them out there and and uh uh pulling them down at roughly roughly a 45 degree angle and uh then it, it gets his ground reference and then for uh for the most part it becomes a uh uh that kind of acts like a like a dipole actually you know so uh but anyhow so you get a quarter wave ground plane which works really well they have a a, a low takeoff angle and uh they uh ground plane just is almost unmatched for uh, for local communications on a on 11 meters so uh tell you what let's uh let's step in the shack there and let's look at this thing on the swr meter and see what the swr looks like all right everyone here i am back in the uh back in the shack you know normally we look at these antennas on a on an antenna analyzer you know but not everybody has an antenna analyzer and uh most of uh, most folks getting in the cb radio will have a little small swr meter like this so Let's see what the SWRs are on that antenna. So we we'll see. So we got a little noise on it there. So uh, you can see needles on the SWR forward. We're going to calibrate it. Flip it down to reflected there. Look at that. Absolutely flat SWR. Let's check it on a channel. Yeah, you see I got a <laughs> segment out of my radio here. It looks like technician would fix his own radio, doesn't it? So let's check it on channel 40 there. It's going to be pretty close to the same. Look at there. Uh, very low, like a 1.2. Check it there. Channel 1, just perfect, perfect SWR. And uh, that thing will talk, will talk for, for miles and miles again. I, I guarantee it. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like this content, hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, hit the like button. I don't think I'd worry about that notification button if you don't want to because I don't like getting notifications. But if you do, hit the notification button and then you'll be notified <laughs> when I post another video. So uh, anyhow, you have a blessed day. What's left of it? I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and I am QRT.